So I'm Scott from South Florida Insider, and I'm here with Ron Green, the entertainment director of Margaritaville Hollywood Beach Resort. So first off, tell me a little bit about uh, this being like really the first resort. I'm so used to going to the restaurants, mm -hmm. but uh, tell me about how this kind of evolved and why it's already like an entertainment mecca, I guess. Well, I mean, you know, Margaritaville itself is synonymous with Jimmy Buffett and Margaritaville lifestyle and the brand. Um, I think it was just kind of the next step for them to be able to open up a, a property and really represent uh, the lifestyle and share it with, you know, the people, countless people throughout the world who really enjoy the lifestyle and the music of Jimmy Buffett. So this was kind of the first um, hotel of its kind. It was in the process of being built for many, many years. Um, and then finally in 2000, uh, 2010, I believe they started the process of building it, and then we opened up in 2015. So even when they kind of started the restaurant venture, this was always kind of in the back pocket? Well, I think, uh, you know, again, I can't speak to too much to the actual uh, construction or the ideas behind, uh, you know, what, you know, uh, the, the brand really decided to open up this property. Um, uh, and I don't know how long it was in the process for prior to that. Um, but I know that, you know, once they opened up and, you know, really kind of started uh, putting the construction in, it went up very, very fast. And was this uh, kind of, I mean, like, already in the short time this has been around, has it already become like that ideal kind of destination for uh, would-be travelers? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, you know, it's the first of its kind, first of all, the Margaritaville itself. And, um, you know, there's nothing else like this property in South Florida as far as the style, uh, the lifestyle, um, you know, the, the resort lifestyle that we have specifically and synonymous with Margaritaville. I mean, it's already become, you know, a place that people not only uh, from all over the world come and the United States, but also we have a lot of locals really who come and, you know, stay with us. Um, I can't tell you how many times that I go into the elevators and, you know, I'll ask people just to kind of strike up a, strike up a conversation and say, oh, where are you guys from? And people are like, oh, we're from Dania. Or we're from Hollywood, or we're from Davie, and they're just come to check out and do, do a staycation. Yeah, I was going to say, staycations are definitely starting to become popular. And I mean, walking into here, I mean, yes, you got the Florida vibe, but it's definitely got that unique kind of uh, flavor to it, I guess. Yeah, the Key West exactly. kind of vibe. Absolutely, yeah, again, and it's, it's all Jimmy Buffett. I mean, this whole resort is built around the music and the, the lyrics of Jimmy Buffett and the lifestyle. So what are some of the uh, distinguishing things? I mean, obviously, like looking around the decadence of the place, but uh, is there anything else like the pool, obviously the restaurant and uh, whatnot? Yeah, we have, I mean, we have eight restaurants and bars on property. We have three pools uh, on property as well. We have 349 rooms. Um, I think the biggest thing that for me at least, because I'm the entertainment director, the biggest draw uh, is and, and the opportunity that I've been given uh, is to really present entertainment to South Florida on a scale that really has never been seen before. Um, we have three live music venues um, and we do about 30 live performances a week um, as far as live music. So there's a lot that's happening here, seven days a week inside Margaritaville Restaurant, uh, five nights a week at five o'clock somewhere on the Intercoastal, five nights a week at the, the Hollywood Beach Band Show, which we are managing for the city of Hollywood. And uh, we have to program that, as I said, five nights a week. So tons of live entertainment. Uh, it's really, you know, becoming uh, South Florida's ultimate entertainment destination. You know, are you guys uh, genre exclusive or? No, we actually try and really cater to the large demographic that is South Florida. We have everything from rock to folk to Latin um, to uh, country music to reggae. We have an amazing reggae party that we do every Sunday uh, across the street at 5 o'clock somewhere. We do a Sunsplash Reggae Sunday uh, from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. And it's been really, really evolving and growing over the past couple of years uh, since we've been open. We started doing that theme night. We also do a different theme night every Wednesday at the Band Show. Um, again, because we want to really cater to as many different uh, demographics as we can because that's really the beauty of South Florida. There's so many different types of people here. So the first Wednesday of the month, we'll do a Latin night at the Band Show. The second Wednesday, we'll do a reggae night. The third Wednesday, we'll do a country night. The fourth Wednesday, we'll do an 80s night. And then, of course, tonight, we're doing um, our Havana Nights, which we are super lucky to have uh, Tony Sukar and Nick Stura Band. Uh, and they're doing that right now once a month. Uh, the first Thursday of the month is we have our Havana Nights inside Margaritaville with Tony Sukar, and it's, it's amazing. But how do you guys kind of uh, draw the themes? Because you got different types of demographics, different types of age groups, where you can have that family that's coming, or you might have the adults wanting that staycation, or the out-of-towners. Mm -hmm. So how do you kind of uh, build those, uh, I guess, distinguishing themes? Yeah, I think really it's it's anything that we present and, and that we activate from an entertainment standpoint really can cross all age groups. It's you know something that if you're 
even a child at 10 years old and you want to hear some top 40, some Bruno Mars, a lot of the bands will play that. Uh, if you're in your 60s or your 70s, we have bands that play classic rock. They'll play the Beatles. They'll play, you know, a lot of stuff in the 60s, the Who, the Rolling Stones. So we really are covering not only different demographics, but the age groups as well. Uh, when we first opened, we held a really large um, audition process, mm -hmm. which basically took us about five days uh, to do. And uh, we interviewed about 150 acts. Out of those 150 acts, we brought on about 60 to become part of our roster. And we're always adding to that throughout, throughout time. And really, one of the biggest things for us, again, is to not only to be able to cater to different demographics, but to have bands and acts that can really play to the different uh, age groups. And also to be able to take your requests and you know just give the people really what they want. So it's almost, you guys essentially had a battle of the bands. Uh, well, kind of, I mean, a little bit, but we brought on 60. Oh, okay. You know, so it's not but, like But I mean, you took it from a higher amount and of narrowed course. it. Yeah, yeah. For, sure, for sure. You know, and again, as I said, we're continuously adding. The great thing about South Florida is it's so rich with live music and such talented people. Um, you know, I can really say that we probably have the best roster of live music that South Florida has to offer more than anywhere else um, because we really have such a, a, um, a wide array of um, times where we can activate entertainment and really have the opportunity to you know, showcase all that South Florida has to offer as far as from live music. And, and with all the restaurants and the, all the nightlife, I, I guess, going on here, um, it's not exclusive to people staying at the resort. I mean, people no. can come from anywhere, Absolutely. anytime. All, the, whole rest, the whole resort um, itself, all the common areas are open to the public. So all the restaurants are open to the public. Uh, all the, 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 the music venues are all open to the public. The only thing, of course, that you know would be a guest is the guest rooms. But all of our restaurants from JWB to Margaritaville to Landshark, um, you know, everywhere that we have to 5 o'clock somewhere is all open to the guests. So we encourage people to come check out the resort, check out the restaurants. I mean, you can come here a week straight and eat somewhere completely different each night of the week and experience different entertainment each night of the week. And hopefully they can check in after those late hours when they realize exactly. they can't get in their car. Of course, yes. They got to go to the hotel, check in at the front desk, get the Jimmy Buffett suite and hang out. Awesome. Anything else uh, you'd like to share? For uh, people that really don't know the resort, out-of-towners, staycation, any of that. Yeah, I mean, really, again, you know, I can't really impress enough as far as, you know, what we have to offer from an entertainment standpoint. Uh, we really are fortunate enough, as I said, to have the most incredible live entertainment uh, and celebrity DJs that we have on the weekends uh, anywhere in South Florida. And if you love live music, if you love music in general, you have to come check out Margaritaville. I mean, this is the entertainment destination uh, for South Florida. And I just hope it continues to grow that way. And we're looking at always adding different things, different themes, different activations to really keep that ball rolling and really create something wonderful for the community here in South Florida. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks yeah, a lot. Thank you.